Hi guys, I've been asked by a couple of readers of my blog uh, if I could help them with the Chinese soft ring, beautifully made and uh, distributed by Aaron Wang. Uh, they're having trouble assembling uh, more than two soft loops on the rings. Sometimes they get a third one on but can't understand how they've done it and then can't uh, easily remove it. I think the mistake is to think of it as a disentanglement puzzle and not think of it as an enery puzzle. So I'm going to show how to do the first uh, two, three or four loops and hope that that will help people understand uh, what's going on with this. So what I'm going to do is take the first loop, put it on like that, you can see there are gaps in the rings. They're beautifully made, these, out of steel. Uh, there are gaps in the rings, but they are too narrow for the string to go through. So I put a loop on the way it needs to be. I'll try and keep this in frame as much as I can, but I may end up wandering off. Loop that over. Feed the soft loop through and pull it apart. Now that's very, very easy, as you can imagine. Next one we want to add is another loop. And what I do is I put that through. So it's looped on, and I've got the soft ring through it. And what I eventually want to do is bring this steel ring off the first loop but leaving it on the second loop. So what I'll do is I'll keep it like that. Push that through so that it's like that. So I've effectively looped the soft loop onto the ring and then just remove it from the first loop. And there we go. So we now have two. That's very easy. Now what I need to do is do the same thing again. So I'm going to put the third soft loop on, get it into the position that we're wanting it to be. And now I want to make sure that the ring is being held. So that, as you can see now, if I remove it from the second soft loop, it'll be interlinked with the third one. But I can't just remove it from the second soft loop. What I have to do is bring that second one, bring it down to here, feed it onto the first. So it's now linked on the first and the second and the third. I'm then going to take the second one out. So it's no longer on, it's now on the first and the third and then I can remove it from the first. And then I take that apart, and we now have all three connected. And I do the same thing again for a fourth. It gets more and more complicated. As you can see, you get, it is an enery. You go three, one, three, two, one, and then undo it. So again, I've put the fourth loop where it needs to be. I hook it. through the ring, like that, I think that's right, hang on a minute, no, that's it, bring that through. So now, as you can see here, if I take it off the third loop, it will be caught by the fourth. So to take it off of the third loop, try and keep it orientated right, correctly, and bring that bring the third loop down, loop it onto number one. So it's now on the first, third, and fourth. Feed through number two. Take it off. 
and now it's on the first, second, third and fourth. Then what I want to do is loop it through number three. Let me just get everything in place. So at the moment you can see it's on second, third and fourth. I'm going to bring number three through. So it's now going to be on the second and fourth. I need to take it off of the second. Onto the first. So it's now on first, second and fourth. Take number two off like that. And now take number four, two, number one off. And now it's on number four. I'll try and do a fifth one for you. I'm going to be very difficult to keep this in, in frame. So again, you put the, let's just get this into the right place. Fifth loop on. You know, you want to make sure that it's looped on the fourth and the fifth. So now it's on the fourth and the fifth. Over from there. And then just trying to hold it in a way you can see. I bring it down. Put that in. Feed number one through. So it's now on first, fourth and fifth. Bring number two through. And bring that through and take it off number one. And if I take that out from there, it's now on two, four and five. I'm going to bring the third loop through. So it's now on second, third, fourth and fifth. And bring that down and feed number one through. So now it's on first, second, third, fourth and fifth. Take number two off, and then number one off, and then it's on third, fourth, and fifth. I want to take it off number four now. So take number four through. So it's now on third and fifth. Loop it on. If I can, trying to keep it in shot. And now it's on first, third, and fifth. Bring number two inside. So it's now on first, second, third, and fifth. Take number one off. Now it's on second, third, and fifth. Take number three out and back through again. Now it's on first, second and fifth. Take number two out and now it's on first and fifth. And if I take that off now, it's on one and five. And you can do that six, seven, and presumably if you have more, you can get even further up than that. Uh, it gets quite arduous and really quite fiddly, but uh, it's quite fun to do. I hope that helps.